Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. A lot of older French horns have loose valves that are noisy. This video will show what causes the problems and how to diagnose those problems. Look in the description below for links to other videos about how to fix the problems. Usually the first sign of a loose valve is that it's noisy. And this one is making way too much noise. And this one's a little quieter, but it's still a little loose. And if you oil the valves, it can quiet it down. I've oiled this valve, and you can hear that is a lot quieter. However, when the oil wears off, it will be loud again. So oiling the valves only works temporarily. Noisy valves are not always caused by loose rotors. Sometimes the cork plate can be loose and it can be wobbling around in there and that can cause it to be very loud too. Just tighten up the screws to the rotor plate and that will solve that problem. Sometimes the rotor arm screw can be loose, causing the rotor arm to move around when it's pushed and that can cause noisy valves too. Sometimes lever arms can be bent down too far and when they're pushed they can hit the rotor or the cork plate and that can cause them to make noise too. But the most common problem for noisy rotors is that they are loose. There are two ways for rotors to be loose. It can go up and down inside of the casing or it can go back and forth inside of the casing. And either way you'll get some clicking noises when you push down the valves. Or often the same valve can have both problems. To diagnose the problem, pull off all the valve caps. The way to check for loose valves is to push the valve halfway and then pull up and down and see if it moves at all. And sometimes it works better to flip the French horn over and check from the other side. It might be hard to see in the video, but watch the middle and watch the valve go up and down. I'm pushing it halfway and now I'm going up and down and you can see the valve moving. To check if the valve is loose from side to side, push the valve down halfway again and then go from side to side and see if it moves at all. And it's hard to see in the video but it is moving and you can feel it more than you can see it. I'm focusing in, watch carefully, push down halfway and you can see it move back and forth. And if you turn the French horn over, you can see it moving around inside the bearing. I have a cut away from a rotary valve and if I zoom in you can see what's happening on the inside. It is moving up and down. The reason for that is there's a gap between the rotor and the casing. The problem shows up here but more than likely the problem is on the bearing plate on the other side of the rotor. And on the cutaway if I go back and forth you can see it moving and that's because there's a gap between the spindle and that's the thin part of the rotor at the top and the rotor casing. Also there's probably a gap between the rotor and the bearing plate. And also there's probably a gap between the surface of the rotor and the inside of the casing. Most problems with rotors can be fixed and usually it is not cost prohibitive. Look in the description below for links to videos on how to repair loose rotor valves. And please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.